Guys, welcome back to Jeepus Gaming, and I'm not even out. It's only six something. We just went to Safeway, I see, to get some freaking dinner. We got a steak and decided to look at the GameStop dumpster because I've been gone for the past few days. And ba boom, number three, the third Xbox One kiosk. And this one is completely complete. The only thing it's missing are the controllers. But guess who happened to find two controllers a few weeks ago? Me. So I have another, a third Xbox One kiosk right here. I think everything's in there. Like I said, besides the Real console's not in there, and the TV's not in there, and the controllers aren't in there. But everything else is complete. This box is also in the dumpster. It has the white thing that holds the console. The dummy console is not real right here. But anyway, we're going to go back to the dumpster after we take this in. I just wanted to get this out of here because it's only 6-something, so obviously GameStop is still open right now. So I didn't want to spend too much time in there, but as you guys see... <sighs> Can't even talk. We're starting off with the brand new console. Starting the night off with the brand new kiosk. And anyway, I'll see you guys at the next one. Welcome back, guys. We just went to all our game stops. Didn't find too many bags. Got three. This one's pretty light. That looks like one of the thick ones, or it obviously is one of the thick ones, but it doesn't feel that heavy. So hopefully, there's at least something in there. And one decently sized one. Let's go through this little one first because I don't think there's going to be nothing in this one. But it did have some weight to it, so I couldn't just leave it behind. Ooh, what is that? Distribute on 10, 26, 17. I think you guys are a little bit late. It's actually got barcodes on it. I wonder if it's like XP or anything like that. Open. Man, they take this stuff like it's secretive government information. What is this? Nothing. Just some pre-order junk. Ah. I was hoping it'd be like some double XP promo or something they had. That would have been cool. Is that more of the same thing? Now this is supposed to be distributed later, but still, you guys just threw it away. Let's see. Whew. It is cold out. And it looks like that is it. What is this? It's just the letter telling them what came with it. Hold on. Aw. Activision is approved to send these to the store. Where are they? Five lanyards, three laminated cell sheets, World War II bags. This kit should arrive at 1026. I found all the paper, but where's the lanyards and everything? I think I've only found one Call of Duty lanyard, World War II one. I found a few other games and only one of those. Let's get this one out the way. Oops. And let's go to this one. I think this is the one that was ripping. Yeah, this is like really heavy. And I see a wire already. What is that too? That's Xbox 360. Yeah, oh my gosh. Ooh. It is really dusty though. Look at that. But I don't see anything wrong with it. It seems to work fine. I bet you this works fine. It's just, you know, Xbox 360 is getting old now, but still, an Xbox 360 Connect is just a little dusty right there. Ew, really dusty. It's thick dust. And I already know somebody's going to roast me telling me to wear gloves. I know. I, I agree with you. I just forget. <laughs> Well, this bag will rip to shred. There's no chance of saving this. Let's see what we got in here. A letter. What is this, actually? A list of a bunch of games. What if this is actually just a list of everything that they're going to throw out? That would be awesome. <laughs> Ooh, there's a case. Afro Samurai for Xbox 360. Not in there. But still keep it for the case wall. Man, this sucks. <laughs> this bag is destroyed. I'm going to have to clean that up in a second because, yeah, that bag is dead. Anyway, let's go through this last bag and i got one more thing to show you guys. Alright, ew. There's a sleeve for uh, Fallout 3, one of my all-time favorite games. You know what? I usually don't keep sleeves, but because it's Fallout 3, I'm putting it over there. Another one for Storm Legacy and something inside of it. Maybe it's just a special edition. I don't know. That just smells like marker. A permanent marker with no top, so. Doesn't work. Let's see what else we got. Oop, there's a Wii skin. Not broken or anything. That's good. Haven't found a clear one in a while, actually. Receipt roller. Some candy trash. Dang, water bottles! Always adding weight to my bags and making me think I got a good one. Water bottles and advertisements are dumpster divers. Worst nightmare. Anyway, that looks like it's it for GameStop. But I do want to show you guys one other thing. Ugh, if I can pick it up. 
Yeah. So, we went by Barnes & Noble, and we found a giant box full of these, some type of summer bag, I think is what it was. But anyway, it's completely full, and this one's got an anchor on it, on both sides, rope handles, and yeah, looks pretty nice, and 13 bucks, but still, they're nice, that's one of them. Let me set this aside. Ugh. And then we got this one. Another box. See, we found these boxes and I thought I'd have like a bunch of random things again like the other videos, but just bags. I guess since it's winter, nobody wants these things, but still. This one's pink and white, got a palm tree on both sides. And yeah, it looks like the same thing, same brand and everything. But there's gotta be at least, what, 20 of each? So if we get five bucks a piece, I mean, that's like a hundred bucks in each box. So I'm happy with it, definitely. Anyway, I'll be right back. Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming guys. So we just got all our stuff home and we had a pretty good night. Like we didn't have that many items, I guess in quantity we did, but not that many finds, but the things we did find were freaking sick. First off, the Afro Samurai case, the Wii skin, the Fallout 3 sleeve, and the Xbox 360 Connect here. And the bag of the blue, the box of the blue bags, and the box of the pink ones. And, of course, that Xbox One kiosk. And that, this one actually came put together. A lot of times they're just in pieces, missing pieces, things like that. But this one came completely together. Even the um, TV mount, if anyone collects these things, like the TV mount, the controller pieces that hold the controller are pretty rare. And they're usually broken off. So I was really glad to have another whole one like that. Anyway... I want to ask you guys a question. So I know a lot of people are here from like Barnes and Noble videos or Five Below videos and things like that. But I want to know how many of you guys are gamers because I was really thinking to start um, live streaming games on this channel as well, just to you know talk Q and A that kind of thing. Just I play a lot of games, so I just figured why not go ahead and live stream and make videos over them. I tried it once before, but I didn't really announce it or anything. So if you guys would like me to do live streaming or you would want to watch it, I'm thinking of doing that. Let me know in the comments. And because I had another amazing find, a third kiosk, third, most people haven't even found one. We found three kiosks. We've already sold one for 300 bucks. So when I find those, I get really giddy inside. But what I was about to say is a lot of people are interested in the grips we found. So since we had a good, good night tonight, I'm going to be giving away another pair of these grips right here. The first one to say in the comments, gimme grips. Gimme as one word. So I know you actually heard this. G-I-M-M-E grips in the comments we'll get these if you're in the United States again if you're not I'm sorry I don't mean to discriminate but sending an envelope to the UK cost me 24 bucks while it cost me a dollar something in the US so I just can't afford to do it but if you're in the US first person to comment gimme grips we'll get these and we'll just you know message me through YouTube through Twitter Facebook Instagram whatever you use and send me your shipping info after I let you know that you're the first one in the comments and I'll go ahead and send these to you completely free but again, let me guys know. Ugh, let me know if you guys think we should do streaming on the channel. Just to, like I said, talk with everybody. I'm not really that great at playing the games, but I just think it's fun talking to other people that enjoy dumpster diving. So if you think I should do that, let me know in the comments below. And anyway, thank you guys for checking out the video so much. It means a ton. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Look at that. I got to cut on my knuckle trying to drag that thing in the car. You know how hard it was to fit that in the Toyota Camry? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.